Greetings folks, hope you like the new workshop layout. Uh, I decided to hang up some of my planes behind me and I decided to move everything back closer to the wall, mainly so that I can reach out and grab the bits and pieces uh, that are stacked behind me. Now for the first video, I thought I would do a build overview of the wonderful Hobby King Pit and Pole Air Camper. This was a birthday present from my wife. Um, she bought it or at the previous Hobby King sale and kept it under the bed for 10 months or so. Very clever of her. I don't think it, this is available anymore. It seems to be discontinued from Hobby King, which is a big disappointment because it's a wonderful plane. Uh, you can see I've already had a little bit of a ding there. Uh, just have to be aware this plane rolls really easily. And if the back wheel goes off the back of the table like that, it'll just roll off and flip over backwards and land on the ground. That's how I did that damage. Uh, flies beautifully, absolutely love it. And it's the first proper balsa plane that I've ever had. I really like it. I didn't do a build video, but I took some photos and I'll go through some of the uh, little niggles and uh, difficult parts that I had in the build. I have a 650 kV motor with a 12 by six prop and that seems to work beautifully on 3S. 3000 3S LiPo is all it needs. This is a Detrim motor, probably off the Spitfire, I think. I'm not too sure, but I'll put the specs down here for you. I also have a panning Mobius mount here. Uh, someone was asking for me to show how I mount my cameras on plane. So this, for this onboard panning shot, little Mobius mount straight on a servo, linked up to a channel on uh, a switch on the Tyrannus. All right, let's delve in a bit closer to, actually, what I, what I forgot to do was weigh it. I'll do that now. So that weighs about 1,220 grams without the battery. 260, so that's about 1,480 grams all up. Now these uh, strut bolts here that connect the uh, wing support struts onto the fuselage, they're quite fiddly to get in. There's a, a bolt, there's a piece of plywood glued to this strut here on the inside and a couple of blind uh, nuts sunk into them. Uh, then you've got to push this down, locate the hole and screw through into them. Uh, on one of these the glue came undone on the inside and the bolts just dropped off so they're almost impossible to uh, locate them again. A uh, bit of fiddling and twisting and, and carrying on to get them in uh, but that worked out in the end. They really need sort of a hard uh, washer of some sort here to stop them sort of biting into the plywood or the balsa or whatever it is there. It just looks a bit ugly. These struts are just for decoration they're just sort of flopping on there screwed in. Um, could have made them a little bit more sturdy. This one's coming out here I see. Now there are a couple of uh, gaps in the plywood in the base where this landing gear structure is supposed to slot into. They're a little bit further apart than the actual landing gear is so uh, what I did was just screw on the front section into the into the little recess gap or whatever it is there and then this back one is sitting up above it so it doesn't quite make it back into the, the slot that's supposed to be provided for it I suppose but uh, that kind of works okay, that's no drama. A lot of people are saying their landing gear is breaking at this weld here. Luckily mine is okay so far, but that would be very annoying. These uh, wheel retaining collets, there's one on either side of each wheel, they were the wrong size. This is a four millimeter axle, I think, and they were about uh, two and a half, three millimeter hole, so there's no way it's gonna fit. I had to drill them out uh, so that I could keep the wheels on. Tail wheel went on pretty easily, they're often a bit fiddly to get in, but that was no drama, that worked well. Push rods poke out through the side of the fuselage there. The battery fits in underneath there, which is a bit of a pain. It's okay, it just means you've got to flip the uh, plane over to put the battery in, which is a bit awkward. 
It uses CA hinges or on all the control surfaces, which are really nice. I love CA hinges. They're little pieces of plastic. You cut a slot in both sides, slot the piece of plastic in, then you just drip a couple of drips of CA glue into there. Uh, and that's enough to give you a really nice, strong hinge. Ailerons as well, they work really well. Here's the panning Mobius mount. That is just uh, Corplast, Depron, uh, Metal Gear Servo and some ID card plastic there. Just screwed onto a servo arm. Servo wire connecting up into the receiver up in the front there. Just a quick and simple servo panning camera mount. Really nice plane to fly, real old school slow flying I've found uh, as long as you don't weigh it down too much. With the 650 kV motor, uh, 12 by 6 prop maximum throttle uh, was 20 amps and I was cruising around on oh, only half throttle. That was giving me a flight time of uh, probably 15-20 minutes. I could cruise, cruise around for quite a while. Very nice indeed. ESC, uh, I've got a 40 amp plus ESC in there. So that's the Hobby King Pit and Pole Air Camper. Really nice old school bolster plane.